Hey, what's going on, everyone? What is up? Good to see you all. I am uh, back in the studio for the first time in a very long time. Hey, Frank. I'm gonna actually turn the volume down a little bit. What's up? Trouble boy, what's going on? NVA, do you make websites? Uh, yes, I do make websites. Um, and hopefully today I'll show you how to make one too. Hey Brayden, what's up? Hey Adam, good to see all of you. I uh, finally have my rig so I can use uh, both my hands to uh, show you guys how to do things with Universe. Um, cool. What is sounding behind sounds interesting? Uh, I think, uh, I can't, I, I think it was washed out that was playing. Uh, just gonna give it another minute and then uh, we'll get started. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with the new payment block. So a couple weeks ago we released a feature that, um, we released a new payments feature that basically lets anyone, both free and uh, paid customers, start accepting both Apple Pay and uh, credit card payments directly through your site. So you add a block to your site from inside the Universe app, and then once you publish it, uh, people who visit your site will be able to pay you for things like products, um, or if you're offering services, or you run a traditional business from a storefront or something like that, um, you're, you're able to do that as well. So I'm going to be showing you how to how to get started with that, how to set up the payment block, uh, and how to accept your first payment. Um, and something important to note is, uh, while, uh, while we also made the payment block free for everyone to use, the other cool thing to note is that your first thousand dollars that you make through the app, uh, we cover the transaction costs. So normally it's 10% of the, of the total transaction that, uh, that we charge but for the first thousand dollars, all the money goes directly into your pocket. So you get signed up, you start making money, and the first thousand dollars are all yours. So a really cool way if you know, you're looking to start, uh, start selling online or uh, starting up a new business, uh, a really awesome, fast, and easy way to get started. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how. Uh, just gonna say hi to everyone real quick and we'll hop right into it. Gonna adjust this just a little bit. And all right, let's go. Sorry, I've got the, uh, so I've got the Universe app. First thing I'm gonna show you is we have added a commerce section to explore. Let me turn it this way, sorry. Just need to adjust this real quick. Yeah, so we've added a new commerce section to explore. So if you have the app, you can go into the explore section and see a bunch of apps that are currently using uh, the payment block and then if you don't have Universe yet and are interested in seeing how people are currently, currently using the app to make money online, um, you can also go to explore.onuniverse.com. I'm gonna show you real quick. Uh, one sec. Uh, it's gonna be, you can go to explore. Wait, wait a second, I can't type that way. Explore.onuniverse.com. So there we go. Okay, so you can go to exploreonuniverse.com and you can tap on the little hamburger menu to access the categories. I can't tap, there we go. Um, and you'll see this commerce section right up here. And all of these sites that are in here are currently using the payment block to sell stuff online, whether it's a service or a product. Uh, so this person is a uh, brand manager. I'm just gonna show you a couple sites before we get started. So this person is a branding coach and they are selling, I believe, uh, let's see, I think it's in the brand coaching page. Let's see, there it is, yeah. So if you go to the bottom, 
Uh, she's offering uh, brand consulting services and you see these payment blocks that have been added to her site for different sessions and it's this easy. You tap on it and you can pay, pay her both with Apple Pay and with credit card if you wanted to. So that's an example of a, like a, a service business um, using, using the new payment block. And the other one that I thought was really cool was uh, this site right here, which is artofdrinknyc.com. And uh, I, this, is a, this was a bar, but because of the fact that the business is currently closed down, um, this guy started selling um, salts, salts for cocktails directly through his site. And so if you open it up, um, you can see that he's selling a variety of different cocktail salts directly from his site and you can purchase it and I can go to pay. And just like that, I can provide my shipping address and my payment details and have uh, cocktail salts sell, uh, sold to me. So really cool way to very quickly and easily start, um, start making money through your website. So I'm going to show you how now. So we're gonna open up Universe. We're going to go to my site dashboard. Um, cool, so I'm going to, let's, I'm just gonna create a new page on my own website. So when you open up Universe, I'm going to create a new section. I'm just gonna call this store. Oops. Create page. So now I have a blank page in front of me, and this is what most people see when they start using Universe for the first time. So I'm just going to show you very quickly how you can use um, uh, use what Universe to start accepting payments, whether you're selling products or offering services or just trying to get your biz like your normal storefront business online to go from uh, like a storefront business to an online business. So let's just start by adding some photos. I'm going to, if I wanted to be selling a product, you obviously want to add multiple images. Uh, yesterday I made a, uh, a, I made a sample site with um, selling pants. I already had the page set up. I'm just gonna set that one up again. So if I go to favorites, so let's just say I, was, I wanted to sell a pair of pants online. Here are all the product photos that I have. I'm using the gallery block to add uh, pictures of the pants directly to the page, right? Um, I can reorganize how I want those, uh, how I want those photos to show up inside of the gallery. Uh, let's see, I want this to go here. And then the cool thing is I can also pick the layout. So I can do that, that. You can do a carousel. You can do thumbnails. This looks like the move. So I've created a product gallery now for my fancy pants. And let's see, do I wanna, that looks pretty neat. I'm gonna go like that. Um, and just to show you really quickly how easy this was, check this out. I publish and I go online. And just like that, I have published my product to the web, right? We just created this gallery, it's on my website. We can tap on the thumbnails, see how cool these pants are. I'm definitely in the mood to buy them. Uh, now let's make it so that I can pay. So I'm going to go back to the Universe app, just tap on the preview, we're right back into the editor. Um, so what are the other elements to selling products? You obviously want to give, um, you want to give your product a name. Now there's two ways you can do this. So let's just start by adding the payment block to the site. So you wanna obviously be able to charge for these pants. So there's a new thing called the new payment block and it we've already gone to uh, gone out of our way to say new inside the block too, just in case you're confused. And now all I have to do is add, um, add how much I want to charge for these pants. So I'm going to, you know, these are pretty great pants. So I'm going to go ahead and charge a hundred bucks for them. And these are fancy pants. So I'm giving my product a name so that when I'll, I'll show you when, when a person goes to actually pay, they'll see 
uh, the product name or what, what it is exactly that they're paying for. So I'm gonna call it Fancy Pants. I've got that set up. Now I obviously wanna collect shipping address too for when, uh, when someone goes to buy these pants, I wanna be able to obviously know where I need to send them. So it's as simple as turning on a toggle. Um, and just like that, just to show you how easy this actually is, we're gonna go ahead and publish. And we're going to go right back into the browser again. And just like that, I have my same thumbnail gallery that I created for my pants. And now I can start accepting payments for them too. And so if I wanted to pay with Apple Pay, I can do that. If I wanted to pay with card, I can do that also. Um, it's really that simple. So now that we have like the basic setup, we can go back to the page and start uh, customize, customizing stuff a little bit further. So I like the way the gallery looks, that's cool. Um, the thing I actually want to do is customize the button so that it doesn't, you know, it's not just hugging the product directly. Um, I also wanna give this like a name. So, oops, that was a mistake. I can actually go in here um, and there's a style tab for the payment button. Now this is where things get really cool, where you can do all kinds of different things. So first of all, maybe the price is a little bit daunting. Maybe you wanna play around with what gets people to actually purchase the, purchase the product that you're selling. So we've actually created a handful of different predefined uh, button texts. So this one probably doesn't apply because we're not collecting a tip and neither does this one, but we've got buy, pay, and then the really cool thing that I like is you can customize the text too. So I could be like, hey, buy this. Obviously you, you, you may not want to do that, but I changed the button text to, hey, buy this. I'm gonna actually expand this a little bit. Oops. Um, then I go to publish. Excuse me. Um, so you go to the browser again and check it out. It says, hey, buy this. I tap on it. And just like that, I can continue to accept payments. Uh, so obviously you can play around, customize it however you like. Um, but I'm just showing you a handful of different examples. Oh, that looks like a bug. Let's see. Oh, that wasn't a bug. Never mind. I was just tapped into the wrong field. Uh, so we can go back into the styling field. I'll show you a couple of the other things that you can do. So just like the button block, we also allow you to change the uh, change the font style or the font. I'm, I've been a pretty big fan of uh, the wide space font lately. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that. And we can go down and you can start customizing the color too. So I think I want the button to be kind of like a shocking blue. Orange looks cool. You get the point. You can customize this however you like. And, you know, that does not look good. You have all these different options. You can really get lost in this forever, honestly. You can do whatever you want. Um, I'm just playing around and having some fun. And the cool thing is all the same animations are there too. So, you know, if you wanted to do something fun, you can make confetti pop out when someone taps on the button, which I think is always pretty fun. You can make it move, you can make it rotate, um, all kinds of really fun stuff. But I'm going to leave the price here. Um, and we're going to just add a, oh, the other thing I wanted to show was I actually wanted to change, not change that. I wanted to change this to buy. Um, we also want to add a, like if you're gonna be doing multiple products, right? You want to be able to add some, add a little bit of descriptive text as to what exactly uh, this product is. So you can actually resize the payment block. We can move this over here and then draw a separate block right next to it. And then you can give it a name, right? So it can be like fancy, uh, fancy pants, not pads, pants. Um, 
and you can give it like a little description, right? Fanciest pants in all the land. Um, and then you can style the text as well, however you want to do it. I'm going to put it right here. Um, and then, oh, you can also, in the text block, I'm just going to show you a couple other cool tricks. You can also style text inside of the text block. So if I wanted this to kind of stand out from the description text, I can make this blue. So I can make it like heavy. I can give it an underline. Um, and then, yeah, I have that set up. I'm going to tap publish. We're gonna go back. And just like that, we have a awesome pair of pants that we are selling online. And then you can do the same thing for multiple products, right? So let's just say, um, let's just say that I wanted to have multiple products. We can turn this into a store page really quick if we want it to be, um, if we want it to be like a, an online store page. I can go ahead and copy this real quick. And then I'm just gonna draw it down here, paste it. Boom, I have another product lined up. I can go in here. I can remove the photos. I'm just gonna leave them there for now just for demonstration purposes. Um, I wanna use the same style for the description text. So I'm gonna copy that here. Oops. Paste it. Um, you can also, this is pretty neat. You can also duplicate a payment block. We're gonna paste that in here as well, right? So we've got two products set up. This is a store. Go in here. Um, we obviously want this to be a different product, right? Like this is a different payment block and it might cost something different as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the name to, these are fancy er pants. Um, we're going to charge, we're going to charge 120 bucks for these because they're fancier. Um, so you've got fancy pants and just gonna change this product name real quick. You can just hop in there. Fancier pants. Cool. I'm not going to change the images. You guys can, you guys get the point. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and publish. Give it a second. And just like that, we have turned this into a store. So you can scroll down. Here's the first product. If I wanted to buy this, these are fancy pants. Then if I go down, maybe I want to buy these ones instead. They're a little bit fancier. The fancier pants show up. Um, yeah, so there we go. We have set up a, we've set up a store and you can go ahead and do this for multiple products. And once people pay you, the most important part, um, we have added a new tab inside of the audience dashboard where your payments will show up. And this is where you can get paid out. I was, these are from different things. Uh, but when people do pay you, their transactions will show up directly inside of the uh, inside of the uh, inside of the audience block in your payments dashboard. And yeah, active. You connect to your bank account. You can start getting paid out. Uh, this happens automatically. No work on your part. You just enter your bank information, and as people pay you, you get paid out. Um, yeah. I'm going to now show you how to use the same tools to, um, where'd it go? We're going to set up a business page. So let's just say you were, um, let's just say you were trying to offer a service instead of a uh, selling product. So if you're a consultant, if you're uh, doing like online yoga classes or online meditation, if you're trying to basically, in, instead of selling a physical good, just accept payment for a service or uh, or something other than other than like shipping product, I'm going to show you how to do that. This actually looks pretty good. Um, so we're going to remove this, 
and let's see we're gonna we're gonna give this a business name now um, so just oh this one this one's actually a pretty cool trick so if there are no rows at the top we added this a little bit ago but it's still like one of my favorite things you just simply oops you just simply oh my god of course when I try and show it I mess up you just pull down and it add, adds rows directly to the top of the page which is just it's so awesome but anyways um, let's see what if I wanted to what if I wanted to um, what's a cool like business that we could do oh like uh, like a cleaning service right so cleaning let's call it uh, universe cleaning I cannot spell there we go use auto type there we go um, I want to use a different yeah that looks cool make it a little bit bigger probably want to call it universe cleaning services oops once again cannot type Service. What is going on here with my auto type? There we go. So universe cleaning services. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. Maybe we can find like a cool GIF or GIF we can add in here. Let's see, have a little bit of fun with this one. So we have a Giphy block. So if you're familiar with Giphy, you can search like all kinds of GIFs. This is the same thing that like powers Instagram and like the GIF search inside of iMessages. So let's type in like cleaning. Uh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Maybe we should do something a little less in your face. There we go. So universe cleaning services, we can even style this thing if we wanted to. Um, and I want to, actually this might be a little bit big. Oops, all over the place. There we go. So universe cleaning services, and I want to offer like a handful of different um, cleaning options or like have a services menu, right? This is super easy too. So we're just gonna use the payment block again and we'll start with a clean slate. So set up a page, business name. We're going to go ahead and draw another block and find the payment block in here. Um, there it is. And so we're gonna make three different options. So the first one, I don't know, we'll charge like 50 bucks for uh, window cleaning. And probably want to collect an address there so you know where to go to clean the windows. Um, and then we're going to make another one, which is going to be the, let's see, I don't know, what else do people do? Vacuum, so vac or inside clean, there we go collect the address. So that one's for a hundred bucks. And the last one we're gonna do is like, I don't know, full service cleaning. So for 200 bucks, we'll do everything and more. So full service cleaning. All right, so we've got our cleaning services page and what I actually want to do now is um, I probably want to show what like I want to make this feel more like a menu right like a like a payment menu so what we're gonna do instead of having the uh, having the price show we're actually just gonna go inside here and give the custom uh, use the custom option for the styling and we're gonna call this give it the same name so window cleaning so we have that set up and we're gonna do the same here, which was inside cleaning. 
Oh, did I not do that right? Oh, I did, it's right up here. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. Cool, inside cleaning, and then this one's gonna be full service cleaning. So we're gonna go in here, do the same exact thing. Full service. I oh, probably want it to be caps. So it looks the same. Service. Cleaning. And boom, just like that, we have our menu set up. And then we can also customize a button too. I didn't show you in the product options, but you can also turn these into like round buttons. So we're just gonna make it like that. Go into this one as well, style. Turn that all the way. And go here. Cool, so I've got my menu set up. Does that look better? No, it looks better the other way. So I've got that. Maybe I'll add a section here that's like, oops, can't, oh man, I totally did not mean to do that. Oh well, I accidentally deleted a block and there's no undo just yet, but I'm going to go here and add a service menu and probably want this to be a little bit bigger and let's see what else can we do here we could probably make we can make this like have a separate background color Very into yellow these days, I don't know why. All right, it's cool. So we've got a service menu, and then let's also just get rid of all this space down at the bottom. So you can drag, and then you see this delete rows option, and just like that, we've cleaned it up. Uh, the other th really cool thing that you can do is like, if you wanted people to be able to like contact you, you can very easily add link blocks at the bottom. So we have, where did it go? We have the link block. And this is where you can easily add like your Instagram. So I'm just gonna put in fake stuff for now, but you can copy it over, add all your uh, different like business links. So if this is a cleaning service that you're also on Yelp, you probably wanna add that too. Where is it? I don't even think I remember, uh, this is what it is. So we've got Yelp and what else do you, we also have our um, Facebook page too. Cool. So we've added all of that. The styling's a little wonky. Let me fix that real quick. Um, I want this to be, I'm just gonna make it a random color. There we go. So just changing the color real quick. You can do them in whatever color you want. Um, oh, that looks awful. <laughs> cool, so I've added my, I've added all my social links so my customers can find me and follow me. And just so that it doesn't look like the exact same page, I'm gonna go ahead and also add a background color. Um, let's make it uh, something that doesn't suck. I guess that works. <laughs> Not the best looking page, but you get the point. Uh, probably don't want this all the way up there. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and publish. We go check it out. And just like that, Universe Cleaning Services is live. I've got a cool, fun little uh, GIF. And then we've got our services menu. I didn't add our links, so that's why the other two links aren't showing here. I could fix that very easily. Um, and now when I tap on Inside Cleaning, my $100 option comes up there. 
And if I tap on full service cleaning, $200 option shows up there and people can pay, we can collect their address. And just like that, it will show up directly inside of our payments dashboard. And we're done, just like that. Um, yeah, so as I just showed you, it's super easy, whether you have an actual business already or you're thinking about starting a new one, um, you know, Universe, may, it's totally free for you to get started. The payment block is available to everyone, both free and paid customers to download the app um, and just play around. Uh, you have everything available to you to at least, if not uh, get things going right away, at least just start playing around and see, see what you can do with it. Uh, we've got all kinds of different examples. If you miss the beginning of the live stream, you can go to explore.onuniverse.com uh, slash commerce and you can see a bunch of examples of how people are actually using what I just showed you to make money online. Uh, it's only two weeks old and there's already been thousands of dollars process. Uh, so it's really fun and exciting to see, you know, all these new businesses emerge online um, from your phone, right? I'm just sitting like no coding, no nothing. I was just playing around on my phone and we set up two different businesses in a matter of uh, 20 minutes. Um, cool, does anyone have any questions? I'm gonna scroll through here real quick, so pardon my uh, silence for a second. Let's see, just gonna wave at everyone. Let's see, is this built in on, uh, Liv Curl asked, is this built in on IG? Uh, no, so Universe is a totally separate app. Um, you can go to apple.co or just hit the link in our bio, or yeah, hit the link in our bio and you can go directly to the app store and download it. It's totally free. Uh, we do have a subscription service if you wanna do things like get a custom domain, uh, start an email list and stuff like that. But everything I just showed you, you should be able to do for free inside the app. So, um, and if you wanna try the premium version, uh, I, I do think there's like a three day trial or something like that. Um, Let's see, can you do sizes? Oh, that's actually a really important thing. So uh, you can't do sizes. I'm gonna show you this real quick before I answer any more questions. Uh, in the, sorry, I'm gonna turn this down real quick. In the fancy pants example that I showed you, um, you that, that's a great question. So if you wanted to do multiple sizes, um, there isn't a way to do, um, uh, add multiple sizes to a single payment block. So I would have to do navy pants. Uh, so there are a couple ways to do it. You could do, this could be large, right? You could use the, the button to, to uh, you can use the button to show the sizes. So we can customize, I can add another one here, large and just for just for uh, demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna do small and large. Um, and then you can also do the other ones if you wanted to. Oops. So this is small. Uh, but the thing to remember is this is just the button text. You'll also want to update the actual payment block too. So when the order comes in, you'll, want, you'll be able to see what the, uh, what the item differentiation is. So if, I didn't change it up here, right? These are navy pants and these are navy pants also. So I would have to change this to navy pants. Uh, where'd it go? Oh yeah, navy pants. Oh my God, I really do not know how to type. Okay, not P, L, there we go. Navy pants, large, right? And then I would do the same for this one right here. So I would open up the navy pants, small. So now, just to show you, when people go to the site and they go to pay, they'll see both the options and that when they actually pay you, it'll be the actual size as well. Um, 
And then you can always go back. Obviously that doesn't look too great. You can start doing other things like uh, if you want the gallery to be on the left-hand side and, oops, we can start moving the payment block over here. Oops, all over the place right now. Sorry guys. So large, small, and we can start doing all kinds of weird. You can play around, right? It, all of these are blocks. The grid really lets you do whatever you want. I could make this, you know, a little rectangle if I wanted to and move this up here. You can do all kinds of crazy things. It's really up to you to play around. But for the sizing, you would have to create separate payment block. You would have to create a separate payment block for each size for the product. Um, so that when people pay you, it shows up um, it shows up with the, the right order inside of your dashboard. Asking all the right stuff that I'm definitely not thinking about because the coffee is wearing off. Um, cool, let's see, what other questions are there? Uh, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Can you link bank accounts from outside the US? Not yet. Uh, we are working on international support, but you can accept payments internationally. Uh, but the payment block currently only, the payments features only work in the US uh, at the moment. Envy asks, can you show us how the shipping information shows up? Yeah, let me, let me do that. Um, I'm just gonna change, I'm gonna change the price to my pants to a dollar and just do this real quick. Okay, check this out. Um, so we're gonna go back into the store and I made the, oh no, I'm not paying myself 50 bucks. I'm gonna pay myself a dollar. Hold on, I'm gonna enter my card information real quick. Um, cool thing is, is um, it automatically pulls in the address from the uh, from your Apple Pay. So if someone pays with Apple Pay, it'll pull in directly from uh, the address that's tied to your Apple Pay account. So it's literally like scanning someone's face, uh, which is what I'm about to do real quickly because I don't know my credit card information off the top of my head. Um, I just paid myself. Processing, 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 complete. Check this out. I just myself. Payment successful. You get the confirmation. Customer gets the confirmation. We're going to go back into the audience dashboard. And I don't think I. Why isn't it showing up? One second. I think I did something wrong. Hold on, getting, there we go. So let's check one more time. There we go, payment shows up. And there is my navy pants that I purchased. I can go in here and there's my address as well. Pretty sweet. Um, probably should have put in, uh, yeah, so all of it kind of comes through right here. And then when you tap on the actual order as well, you can email the buyer you can mark the payment as fulfilled. You can even refund transactions directly from here. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's how the address shows up. It shows up inside of your payments dashboard. Cool, more questions. Um, the Fresh Files 412 says, I'm so late to this. I wish I could have tapped in sooner. I will upload this to YouTube, so don't worry. I'm gonna be uploading a lot more of this to YouTube now that I'm back in the studio. Malvia asks, what is the tutorial about? It's about creating a, uh, setting up your site on Universe and starting to accept payments online. That's what the tutorial is about. All right, let's see, super dope. Definitely using this for my site, Envy. Awesome, great. Would love to sh shoot us a message through the app. We have, uh, we have in-app chat set up, so you should definitely uh, send us a message. We'd love to chat. 
Someone else asked, can you edit on a computer? No, not at the moment. Universe is only for iPhone and iPad. So there's tons of stuff already available for you to make websites and things uh, with your computer. But uh, yeah, Universe is all about helping you do things with your hands. So you can do it directly from an app. Uh, what is the name of your YouTube channel? I think I'm actually not <laughs> too sure. Oh, actually, uh, if people are listening, if you could go follow our YouTube, uh, we'll be able to give it a custom name. I just remembered we can't, um, we can't give our YouTube channel a custom name until we have, I think it's like 100 followers or something like that. Let me find it real quick. Universe. Definitely don't search Universe on YouTube because you will not find anything related to this. Universe Website Builder. Maybe. No. Universe. Man, I'm sorry. I should probably know this stuff off the top of my head. Um, I cannot find it. I will, I will follow up on that. Fear the funk. What are you asking? How do you import custom GIFs? Oh, um, you use the, use the Giphy app. Uh, you can go here. I'll show you. You go to the app store. Custom GIFs can be done through uh, Travis Scott on the app store. That's cool. Uh, you go here, you look up, not hyphy, can't type again, again, jeez. There we go, gif, there we go. Uh, you go here and there is a Giphy maker, where's their app? They might, they might have merged it into the actual, oh yeah, it's merged into here now. Just get the Giphy app and you can make GIFs directly from inside and they give you a shareable link and then you just paste it into the, the Giphy block and you're good to go. It's really that easy. Maybe I can do a separate drill on uh, embedding content on your site, that'd be a good one. Let's see, there are three questions in here. Um, Okay, same one. Patrick says, we were supposed to record together. Oh yeah, you should, yeah, send me a message. I totally forgot. Uh, Zach says, I love discovering new sites. Yeah, absolutely. So if you go to exploreonuniverse.com, you can always uh, see the latest sites that are being made on Universe. We handpick them every week, every day. Um, and there's cool stuff being made all the time. And you could be one of those people. So yeah, if you have any questions, send us a message on here, reach out to us at hello um, at onuniverse.com. We have live chat baked into the app. We're, uh, we're here to answer questions. Um, all right, well, thanks for tuning in everyone. Hope you uh, learned something or had a little bit of fun. We'll see you next week, later.